Hello. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to control the rotation of a group of objects and make them rotate all with the same slider or visual slider and the most important, how they actually rotate around their own Z axis. So one of the most annoying things you might experience in using Revit that if you select a group of objects and you try to rotate them, uh, they're going to rotate as an entire group or block of objects and that usually what well, the things that you don't want and usually want everything to be rotated around itself especially when you design columns for example uh, probably chairs maybe maybe columns are most uh, famous tables when you design the restaurant and you want to rotate a group after you make an array and then you want to rotate them 45 degree and then you have to you discover the sad truth that you have to select them one by one and then keep rotating them or rotating them and then keep copying them so how we do that it's very simple and it's very basic again by the use of dynamo all you need this time is to go and select a model element and now elements actually so because they are a group of elements so this guy it's very similar to this only that that guy allow you to select a group of things so anyway select select all those tables and that's the names and ID actually been selected now you want to rotate and again you want to give an order so it's set and then rotation okay as long as you want to make an order so set and then rotation so set rotation here very simple again connect those guys to this family instances and the degree you can go and add a number I always prefer a slider and then go integer so it's going to give me a clear number. It doesn't have digits like the number. So here, you have to be careful with that. So minimum, again, we're defining degrees. So zero is good. Maximum degree is 180. And each tick here or each move in this slider, well, let's say it's, uh, let's go 15 maybe. I don't know. Five, whatever you want. Let's go five. And then minimize that and then connect this guy to this and that's it. It's very easy again. Uh, so see, you can see that it goes all the way to 180 and then return to uh, zero. See how beautiful. That's 90 degree. And that's 135 and that's the zero. It's very simple if you know how to deal with, uh, with, uh, with Dynamo and how to connect those properties and again it's basically this function that we, I'm focusing uh, on the, the two videos that I have is to select model elements or select model element that allow you to take everything here and take the property and put it in this uh, port of that node and then by that cable or that lace you connect it to the another node which is this guy which is actually need instances of a family which what you provide in here and the degree and uh, you see that uh, it's actually there's a list of four objects here uh, that uh, they are uh, actually uh, tables and they are you're actually controlling them and actually he named them one zero one two three four that means five sorry four numbers and by that integer and again it's integer not a number because it's a clear doesn't have any digits you can control the way they rotate all together and everyone is actually rotating around its own uh, z axis i wish that you find this tutorial useful thank you very much and have a good day